This video is sponsored by Noragon, the commercial vehicle data experts. Visit noragon.com to learn more. Hello everyone, and welcome to Fleet Equipment's Data Center, the series that aims to make truck data approachable. I'm Alex, and I'm in charge around here now because Tess left for tech school. That's right, there's a new sheriff in the data center, and his name is me. And this sheriff's gonna round up those pesky cowboys who do the wrong maintenance on the wrong type of truck and uh, throw them in the data jail. Uh, my metaphor's falling apart here, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that accent ever again. Uh, we're going to talk about heavy duty versus medium duty repair. I do have one thing to say. I know there's been some debate about this, but now that I'm in charge, I'm formally declaring that it's pronounced data. If I had a gavel, I would use it here. Does, does anyone have a gavel? Uh, I wish I could help. Tess, you're back. Only for a minute though, because I forgot something, so. How's tech school going? It's, uh, it's hard. I bet. Oh, by the way, did you know that your approach to medium and heavy duty repair is completely different? Because I figured they're both trucks, right? One's just bigger than the other. But it turns out the maintenance concerns are pretty different for each. That makes sense. Different trucks are used for different applications, which means the preventative maintenance schedules and the type of maintenance you do won't necessarily be the same. A delivery truck that runs stop and start routes in the city is going to need its brakes checked more often than an a highway truck. Exactly. The starting and stopping will be different and the tire wear will be different. It could also impact the engine health depending on idling cycles or loads. Light and medium duty vehicles also communicate their data differently than heavy duty trucks. And we've covered that on Data Center before. And there's so much more beyond that. Yeah, like what? You know what, we should ask Noragon. I bet they know. Medium duty trucks are often found in delivery applications that undergo frequent starts and stops, increasing wear on transmission and clutch components. As a result, transmission and clutch issues account for approximately 20 to 30% of repair concerns. These problems include transmission slipping, difficulty shifting gears, and worn out clutches. Box truck body related issues also account for a significant portion of repair concerns. These issues can range from body panel damage, malfunctioning doors, liftgate problems, etc. On the other hand, heavy duty trucks are equipped with larger and more powerful engines and transmissions, which can result in more frequent overhauls or major repairs. It is estimated that engine or transmission related issues make up approximately 30 to 40% of problems encountered in heavy duty trucks. Because of this, repair shops should possess expertise in engine and transmission rebuilds, including worn out components, fuel system problems, or transmission failures. Engines and transmissions, huh? I bet you're learning a lot about those in tech school. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, which reminds me, I'm probably missing some valuable information. I gotta go, talk to you later. Tess, you forgot something. Thank you. And we've gotta go too. Tune into the next data center for more truck data insights and info.